Do not let your eyes crave what we have allowed some of them to enjoy, the pleasures of this worldly life which we test them with, but your Lord's provision in the hereafter is far better and more lasting. Chapter 20, verse 131. When we talk about lowering your gaze, a lot of the time we refer to the opposite gender. But I feel like it goes deeper than that. I feel like we shouldn't just lower our gaze when it comes to the opposite gender, but also lower your gaze on other people, on their success, their relationships, their proclaimed happiness. Naturally, if you look at everything that everyone else has, you're going to feel unsatisfied. Comparison is the killer of all joy, as they say, and this is why social media is so dangerous. Whether you're aware of it or not, you're constantly comparing your life to everyone else's highlight reel. True growth will only happen when you focus your gaze on yourself. Be so focused on watering your own grass that you don't bother to check if anyone else's is greener than yours. Focus on your goals, on your accomplishments, on your blessings, and even your faults with the intention of fixing them.